Oh, hey, didn't see you there. So I guess while you're here, we'll talk about product placement. We'll show you some history and the modern day examples. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're going to begin with a brief history on product placement. Product placement dates back to the early 19th century in publishing. The first noticeable appearance of product placement is in the Jules Verne novel, Around the World in 80 Days. In this, he uses such famous shipping and transport companies, such as the Orient Express. The film iRobot is absolutely riddled with product placement. This film contains products such as Converse All Stars, Olvertine, Audi, FedEx and JVC. Addy contributed the most to the film by going to the length of making a car especially for the film. They did this to raise more brand awareness and to increase emotional appeal. The Audi brand received a substantial boost to its image ratings because of the product placement throughout the film. Transformers is a fine example of product placement. In this film it is just so obvious. For example, the Panasonic SD card which is clearly displayed to the camera. There is also a Hewlett Packard computer which is directly shown to the camera. Okay, we're going to conduct a few short interviews with the public to see if they can recognise some key features on screen. Today we're joined with Aaron, and uh, let's see what he knows. Okay, so we've got a famous TV programme here, but what do you see? Congratulations, got that right. Next, uh, we have a scene from a music video here, but what, do you, what can you see? Congratulations. Next up, we have a, a famous uh, American show, but what, what can you see? Uh, we have a famous film here, but uh, what, what's he holding? Pizza. And finally, uh, we have a, f a famous sci-fi film here, but what can you see? Fifth Element. That is the correct name of the film, but it's not what's actually on the screen. Uh, I can tell you you got uh, a few right there. Better looks next time. Thank you. Like a spot in the documentary, that's where I see things differently. Contract or no, I will not bow to any sponsor. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but that's the nature of the beast. Maybe I'm wrong on this one, but for me, the beast doesn't include selling out. Sam, am I right? Tonight like people only do things to get paid, and that's really sad. I can't talk about this anymore. My mouth's too dry. Here, try Vaseline. Lip therapy with a low ear. More and more films in the current market are being funded by advertisement. But what does this mean for the future of product placement? Well, who knows? <laughs> 